so everything is progressing but you know as as the growing season moves forward there's there are always challenges there's always something that's happening so earlier i talked about my okra and as you can see now the entire row has been completely decimated by whatever i don't know i always have trouble with marigolds i don't know why so that's another problem that i have to rectify but my tomatoes are growing beautifully and I think it's because I've been really proactive with keeping them shaded and also mulching. As you can tell, I, I really took um, Daniel's uh, suggestions from last season to heart and I um, mulched and I've been watering, um, not over watering, but just watering moderately so that I don't get tomatoes that are splitting. So they're doing fine. Um, so I've planted a lot of other things, but right now my challenge is this corn. Um, it looks like, oh look corn, it's beautiful. But upon closer inspection, we have a little problem here. So let me carefully walk across my little plank here. We have earwigs in our corn. And what has happened is um, when they eat the silk of the corn stalks, as you can see, a lot of my corn no longer has silk. And whereas before it had a lot of pretty silk growing. So all of the corn right now that are on these stalks, all the corn ears that are on these stalks are not going to grow because the earwigs have eaten all of the silk. So what I'm gonna do is, this is what they recommend. They recommend a few things. I went on to YouTube and I went on to Pinterest and, but I'm gonna try some soy sauce. I actually tried to spray some neem oil because I know that um, on all of my other plants, the neem oil, um, drove the earwigs away. I think it killed them or whatever, but I'm going to try some soy sauce in a spray bottle and I'm going to spray them today. I was also going to transplant my corn stalks so that they can have more room to grow. So um, this right here is a challenge. This is something because I don't know about planting corn and all of this stuff. And when I was a kid, when my mom grew it, it would just grow and we'd get corn. But um, we have really bad earwigs. I've always, last summer I had a challenge with earwigs and this summer's no different. So I'm trying to get on it. I actually have been very successful in the raised beds with the earwigs because I fought them just, you know, but I wasn't expecting them in my corn. So um, here we go, right? So I'm gonna spray it on here and um, just watch the development of my other corn stalks you know just learning about being a gardener in the suburbs this all yeah okay okay so here's some soy sauce I actually added water a little water to it just a little bit and um, I'm gonna spray it on here now what I probably you know it's so funny because I don't I don't use <laughs> um, uh, not sea sauce, I'm thinking about sea moss, <laughs> but soy sauce. Um, like I was saying, I add a little water, but it's so funny. I don't, I don't use soy sauce on my food because I, I'm hypothyroid um, ick or I have hypothyroidism. So I don't normally use soy sauce, but I guess this is a perfect time to use it on my plants. So here I go. You know, and maybe hopefully I'm just going to spray. Okay. I'm gonna spray here. I'm just spraying all up and down. They also recommended putting some Vaseline or something on. See, look at that. Trying to, try to eat that one. You're not going to get to that one, boo. That's not going to happen. They also recommended putting some Vaseline on the corn stalks. 
but I'm not sure about that one. I'm just going to give you a bath. You're gonna smell like something delicious. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know what's in the soy sauce that prevents the ear wigs or it's toxic. I don't know, see that one's a goner, but you know what? I'm gonna keep hope alive. And I'm just going to douse every single part So that, and I guess I'll just, as I water, you know, during the day or whatever, look at that. That's not even going to happen, but you know what? I'm just going to just, like I said, remain optimistic down in all these little segments. I guess I'm learning that these little segments here, that's where, oops, don't put it on the pollen though. Okay. But come here. Yeah. No, 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 please don't do it. Have some more. Okay. So, so I think it's just all about remaining hopeful <laughs> at this point. Um, I'm just learning a lot about doing this and, and growing and well, planting and growing food and also just maintaining this little space right here too. So um, I'm just gonna continue to journal and keep, keep myself informed and keep you informed on my journey so that if there's anything that you can take from my video, then it will be helpful to you too, right? So. Don't believe everything you see on YouTube. I saw this YouTube video that said to spray soy sauce onto your plants. I should have known better. I'm really smarter than that. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the soy sauce in a little jar or container with some olive oil or some whatever kind of oil. Then you're supposed to bury it in the soil next to the corn stalks. So then that way it draws the earwigs to a trap and then they drown in their own little greedy pleasure. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to spray that stuff on your corn stalks. So what I've had to do is I've had to rinse the corn stalks. And right now what we are doing is we are transplanting them and we're transplanting them in the evening, nightfall, so that um, we don't, um, we don't shock them too much. And then they feel a little better um, because of the rich magnesium. We're really giving them a nice fertile mixture of amend and some chicken manure and um, some really good raised garden, raised bed soil so that they can feel good and happy. And then I'm going to use what I've always used, neem oil, because I know that neem oil kills earwigs. I know that for a fact. So that's what we're doing right now. So we're pulling out, as you can see, here is, here's our corn stalks. These are, and then we have all of those right there that also need to be um, transplanted. So we're taking care of business so that our little crop can be successful. So YouTube, you do the research. Okay, because there's tons of people talking stuff and they obviously haven't tried things out themselves. So do your own research. Happy gardening.